A mosque, it means a lot to different people. For the Canadian Institute of Islamic Civilization, it's beyond a prayer space. It's a place to find comfort and seek meaningful connections. When I came here, I did not know anyone, and you had to, to try to find a community, try, try to build that relationship with people. My name is Iyad Abu Hamid. Uh, I am the manager of the Maxi ISE Center, the Canadian Institute of Islamic Civilization. Uh, it is a community center, it's a mosque, it's a youth center in downtown Montreal. Uh, started in 2014. Uh, my name is Ahmed Abdul Wahab. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a cybersecurity professional, uh, an engineer, and uh, what I do here is I try to help uh, with the CIC, Max CIC, the Canadian Institute of Islamic Civilization here in Montreal. I try to help uh, with whatever I can, namely uh, the youth work and uh, whatever it takes. So in downtown Montreal, uh, serving um, uh, hundreds uh, um, if of professionals in downtown area and the business area, as serving hundreds of uh, students and youth so the initiative for this started like 2010, 2011 maybe, uh, where the Muslim community started searching for a space or a building to have a mosque in downtown. With a great will to serve the community, the CIC has persevered through many challenges, despite all odds. These challenges have been a huge learning experience for both CIC and the community. Our life as Muslim community in West, especially in Montreal, Quebec, is not easy. Okay, everybody is aware about the struggle we have as a Muslim community, especially with the uh, with the human rights. Uh, uh, we notice how some initiatives targeting our rights here and there, and uh, having a community which is like careless about their duties and rights towards their community, towards their religion, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause a lot, of, a lot of struggles for the coming generation. Uh, the same challenges that would face any mosque would be financial and uh, uh, also uh, finding the, uh, uh, the, the, commit, the community to, to bring it up. Uh, the people, the team who is going to work on it uh, uh, to serve the Muslim community, organize to uh, to plan um, and to keep it operational, basically. Finish it like uh, by triggering the campaigns, approaching the business owners, uh, other community centers, other mosques, Canada wide. Okay, where uh, we choose to knock the doors and communicate and try to approach any. A mosque can host us in order to send a message to their community that we have a mosque in downtown Montreal. Today, the beating heart of CIC are the vibrant youth leading the way and striving to create a resilient community for themselves and others. These passionate and inspiring youth show initiative and leadership across the board, from holding weekly halaqas to organizing fundraisers and teaching the Qur'an to children in their community. These are an integral part of the community. You cannot build a community without having youth at the heart of that community. They are the present, the future, and everything that this community uh, uh, is about, mm -hmm. right? If you build a community and not have youth at the middle of that community, that community is deemed to be dissolved. It's not going to live. Um, this We learned this from Prophet Muhammad um, from how he dealt with the Sahaba. We know a lot of the Sahaba were youth around the Prophet Muhammad and putting youth in places of leadership, uh, assigning tasks to them and delegating things that are actually very important to them uh, is, uh, is a, a testament of the rule of youth in a society, in a community. So if we are building a mosque or we're, we're building a community for the, for the Muslim uh, community and we don't put youth at the heart of that community, 
we're wasting a lot of potential and we're wasting a lot of uh, khair, a lot of goodness. The CRIC has had a huge impact on many youths and families in Montreal. We all walk in as strangers, but never leave the same. The bonds of sisterhood and brotherhood formed are ones that last a lifetime. Uh, at this point, I'll say it's um, it's like a second home, especially like I don't have family members that are like Muslims, so to me it's like having like a big family. The CIC means a family abroad, I'd say. I, I think that's the best way to describe it, uh, especially living alone here. Uh, you don't really get much of the time to spend with your family, so it's, a, it's another family abroad. I can't describe it, but I'm so comfortable and in my place because Eid and Ramadan is such a spiritual time and you need to feel that connection with, with Allah mm -hmm. and with, with prayers and with um, getting together and um, you know, have, eating together and uh, talking together and praying together, that really uh, strengthens your, your relationship with others and with, with Allah. And that's, that's really important, especially the spiritual part. And I have many situations where the parents keep telling me that my kids are waiting Friday to Friday to come to the mosque because they feel that it's really enjoyable for them. They move freely, they enjoy the moments they spend with their uh, uh, friends in the same generation. So it's a nice community. Having this community with the shade of the mosque is nice. Let them be connected. Uh, it means a community. It's like a second family. You come here, you have brothers everywhere. It doesn't matter who you are. You're always going to be welcome. Someone's always going to say hi, salam, smile at you. It's, it's a second family part of a mosaic in this country and we have to really serve this community or this country properly while we are staying connected with our deen and if we are performing this while we are staying connected with our deen will be more productive and more efficient inshallah to be honest in fridays we have friday prayer where it is the main fundraise, mm -hmm. okay, in the weekly, weekly, uh, call, I mean, uh, collections. Mm -hmm. So, in all the competitions we did in the Taraweeh, the sisters and brothers, the collection we have from these students is more than what we used to collect in Friday Brothers in that days. So I was surprised, mashallah, yani, I mean, their budgets are limited, but they were sacrificing and they were giving generously with the best they can. And some of them, they come to, okay, can I promise and I will pay later? No, don't pressure. No, no, I need to do this. It's speechless. I don't know what to say with this, but mashallah, it's really worth to invest on this generation, mashallah. And it's a real, real asset for our community. And it's a real asset for our center. Alhamdulillah.